What is up guys? It is Farming Fred and we are back. Hey guys, about yesterday. Sorry, didn't have time to get a video up in the day. Just not enough time in a day sometimes, but uh, we're getting one up today and probably going to have one up tomorrow and hopefully the whole week we'll be able to get some up. So guys, uh, we just got done feeding cows and um, now we're going to go ahead and let's see. We just, we just got back actually to our farm. Just got fuel in the fuel tank and um, well... <laughs> Okay guys, uh, we're harvesting beans right now. Well, we're not. I got dad over today. He's helping me out. Um, or actually combining one of his um, farms. So he always likes to come and combine it still. Ever since he kind of got out of it, he still likes to be a part of it. So he's running the combine today. And you're thinking, well, Fred, what are you going to do? I mean, if he's running the combine. Well, guys, I'm going to be out and I'm going to be running grain cart. I picked up a grain cart and there's a good reason why. Um, so... We have a wagon sitting here, which that one was fully loaded. I don't know what happened, but we'll just cruise over there quick. I don't know exactly what happened, but um, we had both wagons on the uh, 8530. One was fully loaded, which was the one on the tractor. And this is this is coming. We just got down with that other field. So we were just coming back from that field. And uh, this one decided the front end wanted to give out. So, yeah, it's going to have to have a whole new front assembly put on. But the weird thing is, guys, it wasn't like it was that full. I mean, you can see, I mean, you can see it's not even up to the sight glass yet. I don't know if we overloaded it last time, but um, this is the one, guys, that just had the bearing done to it. But I don't, I don't know what's, that, that couldn't have been it, but I'm, I'm wondering what, you know, did they not see what was going on with this thing when it was in there? Did it was it loose in the front end, or I mean, obviously, if it was the bearing, the wheel would have just shot off. You would have thought, and like this completely snapped the front end, which is weird because there was no weight on it. I mean, this, I mean, we've we've pulled a fully loaded wagon before. This is just, I mean, it's a little over a quarter of the way full. I don't, I don't know what happened, guys. I have no idea, but um. So we're running the Volvo today, and I thought, you know, this field's farther away. Might as well run the Volvo anyways, because we got to run a town when we're running our beans. With corn, though, we're going to hopefully have the wagons fixed, because around the home place, I'd like to just use wagons. They're so much easier to pull up. Well, the thing is, guys, now that we have the grain cart, we could just park the truck at the auger at home and then just dump with the, dump with the grain cart, which is probably what's going to happen. So I don't know. We'll see how much we even use the, the wagons anymore. But after that, I was like... I just ran down there quick. I said, what do you got for grain carts right now? And they said, we just got to trade in this older Kinsey. And I was like all over it. So guys, this, um, this field I call, uh, our, I call it church farm. <laughs> we just kind of have a little name for all of our farms. And this one, as you can see, there's a church across from it. So that's how I got the name. But yeah, dad's full right now. So we're trying to get over there. He just called me. He goes, are you going to be here soon? I'm full. So I'm going to get over there and uh, we're going to start dumping with the grain cart. So let's get it. All right, guys. So here we are sitting in our Kinsey or I guess our John Deere, but we have a Kinsey grain cart. I mean, I would have preferred if it be green. I really do like the look of uh, all my stuff to match, but hey, green is... Green is fine by, or I mean, blue is fine by me. It's just a green card. So we'll back up here and we'll let him get back at it. But, um, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. So this is probably full enough to drop. We'll probably swing the truck around. I'd rather have it face the other way, like dumping like the other way. Yeah, so. The 96, uh, the 9630 looks pretty good on there. It's a pretty nice looking setup. And then we got our Volvo here, guys. Okay, let's swing, uh, let's swing the Volvo around here, guys. Oh man, that's a good looking combine though. I do like it. It's a good little farm truck. This little Volvo is. It works good for this because I don't want to drive my Peterbilt in and out of the field like this. But I mean, I kind of do sometimes with the whole setup on the. Um, Oh, silage when I chop silage, but okay, pull it right there and then we'll pull. I don't know how full this is gonna get. Uh, 
yeah, like I said before, guys, when I made this video or made this series, we usually buy um, Wilson. So this is like the first first Tempty I think I've really ever owned. I usually buy Wilsons, but I decided to get a Tempty this time. So we got we got a pretty good shot here. Okay, there we go. Not sure how full we are. Yeah, I don't know. I like to look at the pace setters a lot, but this this for this truck it looks pretty good. Um we probably won't run this quite yet. We'll wait a while. While we're waiting for him to get full, guys, it takes a little bit with beans. Um it's a good looking setup right there. We uh we got our truck here and then um this is a truck I'd really like to buy. This is my dad's truck. It's uh, it's pretty much the same insides as my truck. It's got the same engine, same transmission. Well, I guess, I don't know. Mine might have the L5P. I'm not sure. I think I know his is an L LML. Um, but it is a 2011 Chevy Duramax, and for a 2011 guys, it's dumb clean, and it's his farm truck. He um, he has a newer one but like a like the newer body style which i thought about getting a newer one but i really i mean i guess i have the denali but like it's like the body style of the denali but in the chevys um i always forget i bought that denali i'm always so used to just having the high country but um he uh it's his farm truck but he i mean it's clean and it's like look at the rockers on it for having no running boards on ever the rockers are just dumb clean the box is clean but I mean, he just takes really good care of it. He doesn't drive it. It's never seen salt or anything like that. Even though it's his farm truck, he just drives it when in season. But he doesn't he didn't farm as much as he used to, so he didn't have to really go out in the bad weather or anything. But, yeah, it's it's a sweet, sweet truck. I'd really like to – my dream would be buy it and make it like this one. Throw a ranch hand on it. Throw the LTZ wheels on it just like this. I mean, it would literally look just like it, but in this body style. That'd be my ideal dream. But then at the same time, it's like, I don't really need it because I have this one. So, and the Denali. But this is by far my favorite pickup. I just, this high country sweet. 2017 high country. Okay. This is such a nice setup right here with the Volvo. Okay. We'll sit back in the tractor here. The 9630, guys, I really, I mean, I've spent some time in it, but I don't spend a whole lot of time in it. Um, so it's nice to just be able to use it a little bit more than usual because lately, guys, I haven't been doing tillage. I've been doing a lot of no-till, and I don't know. I don't mind no-till. It's just you don't use your big tractor as much. But the nice thing is you don't have to pay fuel then either because these things take a lot, but... Which yeah, I topped my fuel tank off in the pickup. So probably I'd say once we're done with this field, we'll probably top it off before we start corn. We'll have to take combine back home and switch everything over to corn and get the corn head and everything put on it. So yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so we're pulling under right here. We're gonna get filled up. I think guys, I'm pretty sure after we get this, that should create a full load for the truck and then we'll run the truck to town. We'll have to see where the best prices are on a day like today um i'm hoping to get done with this i don't know if we'll get done with it in the video or not i'd like to switch over to corn yet today i think that'd be kind of fun but if not tomorrow's video will probably be doing corn so we'll see guys i'm gonna work on making my videos a little bit longer the other day i was like when i made the one of us uh getting the denali that one was pretty short but i mean when you're buying a new pickup there's not a whole lot else going on so but right now we're gonna um we're gonna for sure uh for sure try to make this one a little bit longer we're getting pretty full i don't know i mean we can run it out to the end i guess but i'm pretty sure we've maxed him out so hopefully he shuts it off he <laughs> there he did okay guys i've i've seen my dad dump some stuff on the ground he he's he's pretty good at that sometimes Ugh, all these rocks guys i i need to get that figured out i don't know if i gotta get my skid loader out here or what but i got a lot of rocks to pick up mm -hmm. okay
this is probably probably my favorite thing to do guys is harvest i just love it it's so much fun um and right now i mean with beans it's not as like fast paced but when we get to corn it'll be it'll be pretty quick Oh yeah, we got him full. Okay. We'll just sit here and then pull our truck back under when we get back. Shut the tractor off and we'll have to make a run for it, guys. I don't know where we're going yet. Um I have not really looked, I guess, at the markets lately. Um Soybeans we are Minneapolis is always the highest guys that means we got to run it all the way over to the train station and ship them out which I mean I guess we could do it's no big deal so but yeah I think the I think the fastest route there is pretty sure we gotta go this way and then hop onto the highway but this will be a this will be a little journey for us. I do usually like take stuff to the ethanol plant just because it's right down the road. But I don't know which we might <laughs> we might just do. It's so much nicer, guys. We don't have to drive near as far. What's the what's the price difference on that? Um. Oh, the ethanol plant is oh that's for corn for beans it's about right I think it'll be it'll be okay we'll just go to the ethanol plant so much easier guys just because it's right here and when you figure in fuel and getting all the way down to that train station to ship it out it's just like so much easier here we are guys with our Volvo I do like this truck a lot it's nice Shifting through the gears. Um, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice unit. Just a little day cab truck. Whoa. <laughs> Probably should pay more attention, I guess, to the road than we should looking at our truck. Always remember that. Pay attention to the road. Okay. Because we <laughs> kind of get a little sidetracked there. Let's, um, yeah, let's swing in the ethanol plant here. I just like, it's so much easier going to the ethanol plant. Okay, hopefully they're in a line. Sometimes, guys, you can get really lucky here and just hit it just right. Like, um, sometimes you come in here and it's it's busier and busy, and other times you come in here and you can hit it just right. Usually, I think they're open today. Maybe just nobody's opened the gate up yet today. Oh, that's that whole new security thing they have set up. I don't know. They, I don't know. I think they got a lot of trucks that come in here that probably shouldn't, so they start doing that. Going to pull onto the scale. Hundred sixty-two thousand. Woof. Oof, or no, sixteen thousand. Okay, which even then we're not very full. I mean, we must, we must. I mean, I guess this truck's pretty light. Um, it will grab our paper, and I don't, I don't know, remember how it works here. If I gotta go back across empty or not, I'm not sure. Or if I just have to go back empty every other now, every few times. What pit are they dumping beans in today? I didn't even. I probably should have asked. I think it's. It's the pit over here. I'm pretty sure. This place is not busy at all. Which is nice. We must have hit just right on. But I guess it's close to lunchtime. Most guys are probably eating lunch quick right now. Pull 
pull it in. I know that for a fact they usually drop corn in pit one, so I think pit two is probably where they're dumping beans today. So we just got back, or we didn't get back, guys. We just got done dumping. I'm going to pull on the scale. They, I forgot they have an empty scale here, so pull on. 16256. <laughs> yeah, this whole thing here. There's one truck sitting there. Peter Bill. Okay, guys, and we'll turn back out. We'll get back out there, and I, I assume when we get back, Dad's gonna need a dump unless he drives over there and dumps. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll try to get back there quick. So I'll probably shoot him a call quick and tell him that we're gonna come back over. Uh, he'll figure it out. Hopefully, <laughs> if he don't, if he has his auger out, then we know we just need to go dump. And if he, depending on if he's gonna be, um wanting to be ambitious and go do it or waiting for us to go get in the grain cart. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting over there. I think you've probably got a spot open for us. Okay, we got the tarp opened. We'll unload, I guess, after we get down. We're trying to hurry back in here, guys, without throwing the truck in the ditch. That'd be the next thing that would happen. We throw the truck in the ditch right after we just got the wagons fixed. Or, I mean, the wagons just broke. So now we're using the truck, and then the truck will throw in the ditch, and we'll do something to that. That would be our luck. Okay. Okay, we're heading out there now. Yeah, I think he's waiting for us. He's got it opened up like he is. Oh, man. Guys, I'm not sure how long the video is going to be today. It might be close to 20 minutes, but... When you're doing harvest, it's kind of fun just to get into. I mean, there's a lot you can do. So, you know, it could be running grain cart. We could honestly jump in the combine. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll relieve Dad here, and then we'll jump in the combine. He hasn't. He hasn't eaten yet. I ate quick after I got no chores. Maybe I'll just relieve him, and then we can run the combine for a while. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Just sitting and waiting. I really want to know, I guess, what you guys want to see like in the future. I mean, there's only so much I can do in farm sim, which I don't mind doing farm sim. It's just, if you guys want to see more truck sim or whatever, I do have a few more games that I could play. Um, Farm and Fred could play. I got Fall Guys, guys. I I know that game is old. It was so good though when I used to play it. I remember um I used to play it all the time. So that one's a that one's an option. And we have a uh, Forza. I mean, there's there's a few options. I mean, out there. But Farm and Fred, it's Farm and Fred. Farming Simulator is just fun to me. But um, and obviously, if you guys are watching and subscribing and viewing, you you like it too. So we can just keep rolling with this. I do like doing this. But I probably will make another truck sim video of us hauling. And it just because I I have I have a series now on that, so uh, I didn't quite get it. Oh, we're far enough. I'm trying to get it. Trying to get it. Trying to get it. Trying to get it. There it goes. Okay. Hmm. Well, guys, I don't know. We'll see here. We might call that a day for the video. Um, tomorrow's video, guys. I don't know yet if it's going to be farm sim or if it's going to be uh, American Truck Sim. I kind of want to make another truck sim video just because we bought a truck and so now we might as well drive it and use it. That all fit in the front. Perfect. Well, guys, I think this is going to be it. Um, we're going to try to get this field done. And again, one of the videos coming up is going to be us starting corn. But we're finishing up beans here. This is our last field. Um, try to get another load of beans taken. I think we'll probably have one more load left. And then um, hopefully get our wagons fixed. But yeah, shouldn't be any new equipment bought, guys. That grain cart was kind of a spur of the moment thing. But um, I'm glad to be I'm glad to be uh, efficient now. I guess you could say so. 
Um, you guys have any suggestion, suggestions on whatever equipment you want, I can take it into consideration and we'll see. Um, we pretty much only own green equipment, so maybe we'll switch it up and trade like the 9630 or the 8530 in, or the 83, yeah, the 8530. Um, I don't know. I like, I really like those Magnums, but I don't know if I can trade in my 8530 I, I really do like the 8530 but um you know guys if you have any any uh you know tractors you want to see us buy maybe it's a yellow one maybe it's maybe it's a fent um i don't know i don't know if i want to change it up that much i really like my john deers but uh we'll see what happens and um yeah comment if you have any anything you want so with that being said, guys, you know, I just appreciate it always. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking them. If you know anybody that would be interested in the channel, make sure to spread the word. We are back. We're making videos again, and it's so fun and so exciting. So, like always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.